I'm just testing to see if this thing can roll. Whose birthday is it today? I did a terrible job on this box. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty and today we're looking at something. That's slobber coming down my, my mouth, sorry. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty and today we're looking at something really different. Man, I haven't seen this before. What a cool box. Can you guys kind of guess what's going to be inside it? You can kind of see. I've never seen anything like this before. Now I did a terrible job of making a ribbon here. I just tied it like my shoelace. Hey man, I don't do decorations. Let's open this together. Now this is from a brand called Sembo Block. Yay! And you know, Sembo has actually been getting pretty good with their alternative brick, whatever you want to call it. Here we go, you ready for this? Let me look inside. I gotta make sure it's in one piece. Is it? Yeah, it's in one piece. All right, here we go. There's the top, we'll take that off. Are you ready for this? I'm just gonna open it like this. I don't break the thing trying to pull it out. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Whoa, look at that. I have never ever come across this. Of course I had to get and build it and review it for you guys. By the way, this comes with a set. This also comes with a set. So this can be folded so we can send it to you guys if you order it, because this is also available at bringmeupscotty.com. Comes with a lid, of course. And here it is. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Semba Blocks. Cake, we'll just call it a cake. 6014008 pieces and more, maybe more. I gotta go even wider with the cameras. Hang on one second. I'm gonna get a little bit wider on this cam. While I adjust the camera, dear, anything you wanna say about the cake? You say it's your birthday. It's my birthday too, yeah. They say it's your birthday. That was terrible, dear. But hey, at least I got a cake now. So if you want me to send you a birthday greeting video, just let me know. This cake is out of this world. Let's just do a quick rotation for you. Cause I'm sure you wanna see this cake, look at it. Wow, what are you thinking so far? Hmm, it's a lot of colors going on this cake. I don't know if I like all the colors, but I love the fact that it is an original idea. The cool thing about gifting this cake is you can do it in two ways. One is make it like a birthday cake. Second is make it like a wedding cake. Now, symbol block comes with stickers, or everything that you see, the decorations here, and this on the top are stickers, and their stickers are really crazy. They're like tattoo stickers, right? So they have a plastic film on them, which I didn't know when I first bought my first symbol block. Man, remember the symbol club that I did a while ago? Man, that was a long time ago. So once you put the sticker on there, it's gonna stay on there. So as I always say, don't put the sticker on, just leave it blank first, see if you like it the way it is, because once they're on there, you cannot peel them off. Actually, I think one of the smaller sets that we'll see later, I screwed it up big time. I'm like, oh no. So you're gonna have to choose if you want a happy birthday sign or a wedding sign on there, but you gotta choose one or the other. Very cool that it is on a 32 by 32 base plate. Actually, that makes no sense whatsoever. Now, if you wanted to remock this into a city, you technically could. Let's just look at it as a cake first, right? So we'll start here. Look, it's all tiled, surprisingly. No studs there all around the side. Do I like that color? Mm, the brown's a little bit dark. I need your guys' opinion like on the color scheme of this thing. What do you think? That is neat that they really did tile the whole thing, so that's pretty good. Whether or not you like the colors, that's your opinion. You may wanna change up the colors here. It shouldn't be difficult to do. It looks pretty plain, but it is nice that you have this, like it's like the cardboard piece to hold the cake, yeah? Look at that, that's pretty good. Now on the top here, look at that. Look at all the decoration on there. It looks so pretty, right? They're pretty good. I like the flowers here. They can fall off pretty easy, the petal pieces, but you know, you can kind of shift them sideways to give it a different look. And you can place these in different areas. You don't have to put them here. I'm just following what the manual shows. And I like them, these pieces, yeah? Mangoes, those better be mangoes. And then we'll rotate over here. Blueberries, I'm guessing. Yeah, those have to be blueberries, yeah? Oh, look, those look like little chocolate balls in the middle. Man, all right, I'm going downstairs to buy some Maltesers. And then some leaves. I'm not quite sure why you'd want to put leaves on a cake. Who knows? You have three candles. The candles are actually pretty interesting. I don't know if I like the green on there. It's just too many colors. Too many like weird variations going on. I guess they have to make it colorful because it's a cake, right? Even better, put real candles on there. Yeah, that'd be neat. And of course you have the sign there and that's a sticker. I just, for this review, chose happy birthday. And if I show you the stickers, where's my stickers? So here's the sticker sheet. Maybe I'll show it to you better in a close-up shot or I'm thinking you can see it clearly there. So this is the remaining one, the wedding sticker there and the dates when you get married, yeah? Now remember, 
these are all on like a little film. So once you put it on, you peel it off, those stickers are there to stay. And there's a couple more stickers up here. You can use those wherever. I just left them on there. So just so you know, choose one, pick one or the other, and that's it. Look along here. Look at all them butterflies. This yellow colored butterfly, maybe you can pull those off and put more cupcakes to make it a different look. You know, do whatever you want to this thing. Continuing along the top, you got all these little, like, I guess it's the icing, right? If you push down, it will fall into the set. Overall, it shouldn't fall apart on you. Just don't push down on it. Treat it as if it were a delicacy. Guess what? That's right. That means it can go inside. You can go inside this thing, but you just can't take it off on the top, which is kind of a good and bad thing, but it does open up like this. Ready? Yeah, I'm gonna rip this thing apart. Look at that. Happy birthday to you. Look at that heart. It's a heart shape for you. Okay, so we'll start on this side first. So as I mentioned, this is designed to be a birthday or wedding cake, so you can do it in two ways, right? So on this side, I think it's more of the wedding side because they have a couple of empty studs here, which a minifigure can go and stand inside. It does come with two minifigures. If you want to see them, just wait. It's very simple, but anyway. Now where the minifigures stand, there's actually a heart back there. We've seen that shape before. I've seen that in a couple other sets. That's cool. And you have a little drawer here. And I guess they're supposed to put your wedding ring inside and be like, surprise, will you marry me? This Lego freak. That's a really, really cool design. I like that. Now, what's interesting is this drawer does not actually open up all the way. It locks. There's these three pieces, which I took out because it was frustrating me. Not the build, just the fact that once you build it, because you kind of build it on the inside and then on the top, you can't take this thing out. If you drop something inside or one of these pieces fall inside the gap, you can't pull the drawer out. You have to take the whole top off and it's a pain in the butt, trust me. Not even gonna see these pieces, so I'm gonna put them aside. So I'm gonna pull the drawer out, so I'll show you guys, pull all the way out. So these pieces, like I mentioned, go here, and they kind of like lock here so it doesn't come out of this gap. You don't need to have it on there. I prefer it like this, I can pull the drawer all the way out. So you guys can see on the inside there, it's fully flushed and tiled on the inside. That's interesting. It's just to hold the drawer, and that's it. They can put whatever you want in there. You can stash your goodies or your secret stuff. Put it here, put it back. There, that is the wedding side. Then you come to this side, which you could also use as a wedding side or a birthday. You can put a birthday gift in here. How's that? If I pull this down here, empty space, but it's tiled on the inside. So on the box art, there's, I had the box, actually, I can show you. It's a big box, man. Check this out. Wee! They don't even classify what kind of product it is. Just get cakes and gifts right there. And that's when it's closed. If, you, if it's open here, yeah, look at that badly photoshopped picture of all those roses in there. That's terrible looking. But anyway, the idea is that you can probably put roses or put your presents inside. And yeah, it's kind of kind of decorative. So there's, there's the picture of the wedding. That's what it would look like if you have a wedding with the stickers. They put 520 on there. Imagine that was 420. It's a nice size box though. I like, I even like this part here. I thought that was actually really cool. It makes you want to buy it just because it's pretty solid and pretty decent. If you buy from us, don't forget, we don't ship with the boxes. It's, it's a lot more expensive, unless you really, really want it. But okay, we'll slide this back here. I'll open the drawer up here again so you guys can see. That's it. This is set, as big as it is, it's not a lot going on on the inside. It is hollow, which brings me to the idea that could you turn this into like a cake shop? You can mock it. I'm sure you could put furniture in there. It's kind of nice how it opens up. I mean, if you move the drawer here, you guys can analyze it. You can probably change all these panels here on the side. These white parts are actually like glass panels. You can probably put glass there, make it into a little shop, right? Is that a cool idea? You can actually take off this piece, which is just like that, just to show you. So, you know, you can redecorate or make your own door there. So it might be kind of cool. It could fit in your city if you design it in that way. I do like how it splits open and closed, but you have to be careful because these Technic pieces kind of get stuck once in a while. If you close it like that, Things might fall off on you. It's pretty good. Now, if I were to do a drop test, be like this, yeah. Happy birthday to you, 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 you. Solid. If you get confused where you actually open the cake up, you just look for the, the one without the butterfly and it's the opposite side. So yeah, I can just pull up here like that. We take the whole cake off. Look at that. Maybe you just like this piece. You can just buy the set just for this. And you can put the figures on it. Speaking of, let's check out the figures. So here's the two mini figures, the groom. 
the other bride, there they are. Now she does have her crown and she has a veil, but it is really big, man. I think it's supposed to be like half the size. Look at this thing. It's like, it can completely cover her up or make her look cool like that. There, what an awesome veil. Yeah, or you maybe you can fold it up and or you cut it with a pair of scissors. I don't know, that was kind of funny that they came with something that big. Before we look at these in detail, they have different hair pieces. There you go, yeah, or, yeah, or back to like that. However you like it. Surprisingly, these symbols figures are actually looking really good. Like prints are okay on there. And even from other new sets that are coming out, pretty impressed. People are impressed with them. But I like the groom. I like his tuxedo. I like the rose on his, in his pocket there. His face is very simple. It's plain, but hey, sometimes simple is just fine. So there he is. He looks really good. Then you got the, the bride in this glorious dress. Now what's funny is the piece on the top is a little bit bigger than the piece on the bottom. I'm not sure why, maybe it fits better this way. So it looks slightly off, but surprisingly, the printing looks really good. She looks mighty fine in that outfit. If you wanted her to look a little bit sexier, you could actually switch the top around. No, that looks kind of weird, sorry. I didn't mean to do it like that. Never mind. Just, just ignore me. But anyway, she looks, she looks fine. Printing looks fine. Face looks totally okay. And it's cool that they do have different top pieces so you can switch them around depending on how you feel about the groom and the bride. So there you go. Put this back here. Move these guys out of the way. Okay, birthday boys and girls. This is your dimensions. As you know, it is on a 32 by 32 base plate. Very easy. Let's check the height. So break out your one by four bricks. I'm just gonna stack this right here. Look, it's just touching the candle right there. Look, perfect. That is 16 bricks in height. Yeah. How's that for a birthday present? So there you go. This is the birthday wedding cake. Overall, it was a fun build. It can get frustrating if you try to pull out that drawer to show people like the inside and you can't pull it out and the pieces on the top will actually start to get a little bit loose. It is flimsy on the top. You don't want to be pushing down too hard. Here, I'll open it up again so you guys can see it like this. It's very weak on the back there, so you want to make sure it's on the plate. But yeah, if you push down here, it will flex here. Yeah. So this is something unique. This is something very cool I haven't seen before. I think it's an awesome idea for even trying to do something like this. Whether or not you like the colors or the style of it is another thing. You probably take off all the top and make your own little topping on there. Or like I said, make it a little city. That would actually be pretty cool. I'd love to see if you guys actually remock it. You could probably make it like, put different tiers on there, make it a little bit larger too. It's pretty cool. Yeah, dear, what do you think? Those leaves on the cake look oddly familiar. Will this cake get me high? Yeah, I know you want to eat the cake. Man, I feel like having some cake right now. So there you guys go. That's Simbo's cake. I love the idea that they're doing something original. It's very, very different. I don't think you're gonna see this anywhere else. And you know, you can remock it, make it your own, add some tears on there, make it larger, bigger, take the top off, change the color around, and have your own cake. Or gift someone with a lovely cake. All right, you guys, let's light the candles here like that, give it some fire. And dear, we'll blow it out together. Until next time, you guys, break us up. Do, 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 do. If I spin it really fast, it looks kind of cool. They should make it animated, you know? Like, this, what's that called? You know, the thing that spins really fast in circles? I forget. It's like a giant Pac-Man. Yeah, enough of that, dear. It's my turn. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Dear, be quiet over there. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.